Even if you were born after 2000, you've definitely heard the term CRT monitor. This retro technology that's been around for a hundred years is interesting and worthy of a video. But what if it's not just nostalgia? What if old CRT monitors are actually better than new 4K monitors? The guys from the Digital Foundry channel decided to test this. They grabbed a good CRT monitor with fast refresh and played some AAA games. Then they put out a 12 minute video where they were absolutely blown away by what they saw, saying the picture was smoother than smooth and more detailed than 4K. Yeah right, I thought. Then I bought a CRT monitor, cursed everything while hauling 42 pounds up to my apartment, got tired of looking for adapters, and fired up Doom Eternal on it. And wow. Alright, let's figure out how this technology works and why old CRT monitors are better than new ones. Let's dive in. A CRT, a device that displays images, was patented in 1906 and is built around something called a cathode ray tube. What is this tube and how does it work? It's truly an amazing invention, folks. Picture a fragile glass vacuum tube with three electron guns at the base. These guns fire focused beams of electrons at the screen. When these electrons hit the back of the screen, that spot lights up because it's coated with a special substance called phosphor. The phosphor is three color, RGB, and each gun only fires at its own color. But here's the key thing, using four magnets positioned around the tube, we can deflect the electron trajectory both vertically and horizontally. This lets us control the beam direction very precisely. But there's one beam and the screen is big, so CRT monitors form the image line by line, top to bottom, left to right. This happens 60, 90, or 200 times per second depending on the screen's refresh rate. But here's the interesting part, our brain interprets this as a continuous full screen image, even though our eyes actually see a black screen with just one glowing dot racing across its super fast. By the way, this quirk of human vision is called the flicker fusion threshold. Don't worry, we'll talk about this in a separate video about refresh rates and bit depth. And this is a good moment to hit like, ring the bell, and subscribe if you enjoy our content. It really makes us happy. You'd think there's nothing good about a black screen that's constantly flickering. It should be really bad for our vision, and people shouldn't like it. But actually, our vision works much more cleverly than that. Let's do a little test. First, look at top UFO that's standing still. You see a black background with white vertical lines. Now, look at the bottom one. Now we see a light background with black squares. Oh my goodness, what's happening? What are my eyes doing? Here's what's happening. When we track a moving object in real life, its movement is continuous and our eyes can sync with that movement, constantly keeping it right in the center of our field of vision. This lets us see the object as clearly as possible. Pretty cool evolutionary feature. Humans rule. This is because in the center of the retina, there's a high resolution area, meaning there's a lot of rods and cones. Remember biology class? And it's called the fovea, but this area only covers about five degrees of our vision out of the 110 or even more degrees that we can see. So objects that don't fall into this zone get less attention and look more blurry. Now here's the thing. Modern LCD and OLED screens work on a sample and hold principle, meaning they draw a picture and hold it until it's time to refresh the image. So moving objects on screen move in steps, but our eyes move smoothly. That's why the image constantly goes outside the boundaries of central vision and appears blurry. Ooh, that was an important bit. So on a modern digital monitor, the image gets drawn held for its designated fractions of a second, then suddenly jumps. Your eyes like, I wasn't expecting this crap. So it turns out that if we could sync eye movement with the screen's refresh rate, we'd see the picture much more clearly. It's like V-Sync for your eyes. This effect is noticeable on modern monitors because they draw the entire image at once, filling the matrix with pixels. But a CRT monitor actually shows nothing most of the time, which means there's nothing for your peripheral vision to lose track of. And as a result, we get a sharp picture without blur, and we see each frame at its maximum resolution resolution. That's why dynamic images on a CRT monitor at low resolution around 720p can appear sharper than on a modern monitor with a 4K display, or call it the sharpness effect, if you will. But the key point is this. The sharper the image, the easier it is to track, and the less your eyes will strain. So here's paradox. On one hand, flickering is harmful, but on the other hand, it turns out to be useful. And here we have this, wow, what a discovery moment. Good job. But actually, monitor and TV manufacturers have known about this effect for a long time. That's exactly why in gamer-oriented models, you can often find a feature called BFI, or black frame insertion. The technology names fully reflect what they do. A black frame is added after each regular frame. This drops the image brightness, but the picture becomes sharper. It's a pretty honest imitation of how CRT works. The picture flickers, but this isn't quite the same as PWM dimming. 
which flickers at a frequency higher than the screen refresh rate. On TVs, this is typically 240 hertz, so you get several black frames per regular frame, and the image becomes sharper, but it also creates double images, which is even worse for your vision than blur. But BFI, the flickering matches the number of displayed frames, so nothing doubles up and your eyes strain less when tracking moving objects. All right, so to get the same awesome experience on an LCD monitor as on a CRT, you need it to not have PWE dimming, still be able to turn on BFI. Sounds about right. But CRT monitors have another advantage, how they render images at native resolution. Today, we need 4K resolution monitors and powerful computers to drive them simply because we can see individual pixels. To hide this flaw in modern displays, they invented all these font smoothing technologies and anisotropic filtering and whatnot. And if, God forbid, you have to play at a resolution lower than the display's native resolution, the image becomes so bad that you want to quit gaming and computers forever. But CRT monitors don't have this flaw because they render images organically, you could say, at the physics level. All the filtering and smoothing is built in at the design level. There are no angular pixels, just phosphor that gets excited by electrons. All I want in life is to find someone who would look at me the way phosphor looks at electrons. Anyway, without getting into details, the point is that thanks to this, on a CRT monitor, you can safely drop the resolution to boost frame rate and crank up the graphics settings. Thanks for watching. Hope it was interesting. Please subscribe.